my first impressions with the sawmill, amazing. What's up guys, today is a new day. It's gonna be a good day and I'm gonna take y'all's advice. A few of you have said, go ahead, take this sawmill out of the box, put it together, ASAP, here's why. What if something is broken? What if something doesn't work? You need to let the company know. So I'm gonna take that into consideration and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put the sawmill together the best I can. Hopefully I could put it together today and go ahead and uh, mill up some lumber, at least one tree, just to do a good practice pass to see if it works. So I'm not gonna waste any time. We'll, uh, we'll work on this house uh, either by the time I get done with that today or starting tomorrow whenever uh, I get a chance if I'm still, if I'm not working on the sawmill. So still need to work on that, but right now, let's not waste any more time. Let's get the sawmill put together. All right, so I'm just gonna assume this is gonna be all the rails and whatnot. Then over here, it looks like it's already all put together. As you can tell, this is the whole uh, saw part. You can see the blade right here, the blades right here, and then uh, it's all put together with the motor on there, which is great. And then you got this long box right there. And then of course, all the stuff over there. So where the instructions are at beats me. So I gotta open these boxes and see what's in them. All right, so I looked up online. Here you go. These are the instructions you get on my phone, real small. Let's see how this works out. All right, so I took out all these parts over here and my first thought is, this is heavy duty. I mean, this is some heavy, heavy stuff right here. So it's not cheaply made. I mean, very, very strong metal and stuff. So I am impressed so far. I'm glad it wasn't cheap. So that was my biggest worry was buying something that was pretty expensive and it'd be uh, cheap metal and steel and stuff. So luckily it's pretty good. The hard part is, is putting this together. The instructions are terrible. I mean, barely shows anything. Luckily there's not too much. The motor's already all put together. So I just gotta put the rail uh, together and then I'll kind of find a spot where I want it and then I'll attempt to put the motor on there That's gonna be heavy super heavy, but you know me. I'll get it done All right, so I think I got the right bolts here Let's See how this goes Got them on both sides. It's still not perfectly straight. Once I move it over there, I'll get it where it needs to be. All right, so I moved it out here on this flat surface, as flat as it can get. And now I gotta put these middle rails in. It's pain in the butt already. So I'm gonna try to work on this. I may show you a little bit, but it's probably gonna, it's gonna take a while. It's a big pain in the butt. Can't even lie. All right, so I got it moved over here. It's pretty heavy, but I got all the little uh, feet parts so you could level it out. It came in different uh, parts, and so I put it all together, all of those, and now I need to put them through the holes, and I think I can just hand tighten them. They don't have to be anything crazy, because it's just to keep it level. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so I got the uh, feet on there, down under here, I don't know if you can tell. They're all the way down. And then I put this piece in here with the little part that locks it in. I did a small one here, I did that one there. I stuck this bar on here. And then I got to the point where that's all I could do. And I didn't know what else to do. So 
I started looking over here and I started taking apart where the engine is and stuff and guess what I found so I started taking the plastic off and look at this huh. operators manual so I opened it up and guess what boom so there was instructions the whole time so now I gotta go back and make sure I did it correctly and then move on Alright, now I put the uh, back bracing on there. I got the front, the back, and it's standing up. Alright guys, look at this. It only took me all day. I mean, the sun is literally barely up. I have the... Uh, brightness on my camera boosted so you can see but I got it set up I don't even don't even ask me how I got that on there I should ask for help but I'm definitely the type that I want to show you guys that if you want something bad enough you can figure it out yourself and I assembled all this myself and lifted all that up and everything and put it on there I only have one more step to do and that's this Right here, I need to tighten the bolts on uh, both sides. I didn't have uh, any tools big enough to do that. So tomorrow, I'm gonna crank this thing up. This is gonna be a two day video. So you're gonna see the me assembling it, some of it. I, uh, I didn't show a whole lot because it was very, very frustrating. Very frustrating. So I didn't show a whole lot of that, but hopefully right after this, which will be tomorrow, we can uh, turn this thing on and mill up lumber for the first time. All right guys, so I got it all together. This is day two of doing this. Put oil, gas, lubricant, all the stuff. So I'm gonna fire it up and just do a dry run and see, make sure it all works good and everything before throwing a log on here. Put it a little closer. So you just squeeze this. What it's doing is it's letting the lubricant out of here, down to there, put it on the blade. And go. So, I don't know if you can see the blade down there. Squeeze this. So I guess now the only other thing we gotta do is uh, put a log on it. See if this baby works.
Got a post trap. Over the log. Come along the chain. Little by little. Tree stump. It's gotta go over. Last push. Woo. Almost there. I can get this. It's not easy, but I'll get it. Three, two, one. Whoa! Woo! Whoa! I'll get this. Bent that. This is it. Gotta pump the jams up in here. Dang.
Alright, if this teaches you anything on my channel, never give up and you can do what you set your mind to do. Next time I get a winter tractor, but for now, victory. I will take it. This was something I didn't know if I was going to be able to do. I put my mind to it. I figured it out. I used what I had. I won't have a backup to this. I know that. I know you already commented and said, you're going to throw your back out. I know. But I'm so hard-headed. I wanted to get this up here and cut it. And that's what I wanted to do. And that's what I did. Yes. Huge victory for today. My first big real slab ever on this. Let's see. All right. That's pretty good. All right, guys, so my first impressions on this, freaking amazing. It was worth every struggle putting this thing together. It cuts like butter. This is amazing. Look at this. This is beautiful. Such a good cut. Look at that, all the way down. Really, really good cut. It is cut perfect. Such a good cut. So I cut this first uh, slab off maybe an inch or so thick. And then the second one, I cut two inches thick and it cut absolutely perfect. So I could probably cut a couple of more two inch slabs out of this, probably one, two, three more out of that and get a good amount of uh, wood out of this one little section. I don't know how long this is. So I'll measure this real quick because this is the exact length that will cut with this track. It won't cut anything longer than this. As soon as it gets to the end, it's done. So I'll measure this out and then I'll measure the blade over there. I think I could do 20 inches wide. I'm not sure. So I could easily cut big old post out of this if I wanted. I mean, I could cut a big old 6x6 six six slab or something out of this easily. It wouldn't even be a, a problem. But I think I'm going to do a whole bunch of slabs and then... Uh, just have it kind of, this thing has been cut down for quite a while, it's pretty dry. So I am not too worried about if I wanted to use it right now on something. I don't really have a use for it in the moment, but my first impressions with the sawmill, amazing. All right guys, so that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching and just know it is a huge pain in the butt to put this thing together but in the end it's very very worth it make sure you fill that tank in the front with the lubricant whatever you're going to use for the uh, saw blade so it doesn't get too hot and get messed up you could use anything i mean there's a lot of different uh, lubricants you can use i'm not gonna tell you what i use because then i'll just get beat up in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are looking for this sawmill it is a Woodland Mills HM122. It's the nine horsepower engine. It cuts through like butter. This is actually some pretty hard wood uh, with the chainsaw to cut through. And this saw went right through it like nothing you guys saw. Very, very easy. So if you guys are interested, uh, so far, I highly recommend it. I'll keep using it and using it and see what I think over time. But as of right now, I am very, very pleased. 
very, very excited for this. This is a start to a new beginning for my house build and everything else that I build on this property. And just remember, over at Sawyer Ridge Farm, if you don't know who they are, go check them out. It's Sawyer Ridge Farm. They have a ton of cedar, and I'm gonna go over there and help them cut down trees. We're gonna use the sawmill like crazy. We're probably gonna cut down hundreds of them, and my house is gonna get used with them. Stuff so at their property's gonna get used to it uh, with them. So it's gonna be an awesome, awesome little partnership between uh, them and I to be able to utilize all the cedar trees they're trying to get rid of. So guys, <sighs> I have a freaking sawmill. This is literally a dream come true. I've been wanting this for years. So I just wanna thank all you guys that watch and help support my channel because that's how I was able to pay for it was through YouTube. And I wanna thank my parents for helping support me trying to help find it and all that stuff. And then uh, they pitched in a little bit. I won't even lie to you guys. So thank you to everybody out there for all y'all support. This is a dream come true and I am so happy. So we'll see y'all on the next one.